Is, is there a selfishness problem in this Liverpool side, Nigel, in general? Because you're not the only one who suggested that. Bola Zenden, when we had him on the show, he said Mane and Salah have been too selfish for their own good to a point that it jeopardised the team. Would you agree that there is a selfishness problem? I wouldn't say it's a selfishness. I think it's a competitiveness. And at the moment, you know, you talk about world football. Those two names pop up a lot in conversations. You know, whether they're futures lie at Anfield or they're thinking of elsewhere. So there is always that self-preservation element, element that comes into it where someone else wants to be the higher goal scorer than the other one. You know, and it's, it's competitiveness, but that's down for the manager to address behind closed doors to let them know you're, you're playing for the good of the team. You know, you're signed here. When, if, we, if we win, we all look good. There isn't that individual thing. And if you look at Klopp's management style, he's always been about the team. He's always been about the team dynamic. And that's something that it's his responsibility to impose. But you do see certain times elements of selfishness or players really making the wrong decision, choosing the wrong option. Danny, I mean, do sometimes players get too selfish for their own good that it jeopardises the team? Because I think Michael Owen suggested there are certain times when Sadio Mane could have gone down, <laughs> but he, he avoided doing that just because he knows that Salah's going to take that penalty and he's going to rack up his goals for this season. <laughs> I, I, Michael, that, that's it's quite ironic that Michael's talking about selfishness because he was, he was the best strikers in the world are generally selfish. They generally would rather score a hat trick and lose four three than win four nil and not score. As a rule, that's what strikers love is goals. Now Salah is the is is the most selfish of the Liverpool forwards in terms of shooting from everywhere, all different angles. You know, he wants to score goals every single game. I would have Mane's much more unselfish in the, in the way he goes about his business, especially his work ethic off the ball. Um, but I don't, I'm not saying Salah being the most selfish is a bad thing. That's why he's got 27, 28 goals already this season, whatever it is. You always need one or two players, but it's finding that balance. I think one of the best examples we've ever seen of players being aware of others was probably the Arsenal team, invincible team. You know, sometimes you think he's going to score and then one more pass, one more pass. They didn't, there was no selfishness in that side. And the Barca one as well, that won, you know, won the titles under Pep and the European Cup. I, I, I think it's finding that balance with the players you've got. I do, I do, I'm not, I, I'm not saying that there hasn't been a little bit of that with Mane and Salah, but I think it was more Salah than Mane in my, in what I've seen. Um, but forwards are always that way. Forwards are always that way. I played with, I remember playing with Robbie Fowler and Michael Owen together sometimes, and those two are the most ruthless goal scorers. You know, they they wouldn't care if you had a pop at them for not passing. They wouldn't they wouldn't be interested. They're interested in scoring goals, and that's it. More often than not, they did. Should Mane then be more selfish? If you alluded that um, Salah tends to be the selfisher one, the more selfish yeah, one. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, I'm just yeah. looking at Sadio Mane's goal this season. It's really dropped off a cliff, hasn't it? His form. Well, it has, it has, and I, and I think he's suffered um, from the same things that all the other lack of confidence, probably too many games, played at high level for a long time, so he's being judged on the level he's created that Nigel was talking about. I think the difference is with, with Mane for me is the one player in the Liverpool team when he's not scoring still gives you so much. Defenders are terrified of him with the ball. He's he's got great um, tenacity without the ball. He's creative. He do, he doesn't. He doesn't not contribute when he's not scoring. That can't be said about others. I think he's, he contributes more than any other Liverpool forward when he's not scoring, if that makes sense. Yeah, I just have to agree with you on that one, Danny, completely. I think Mane is, is a big factor in Liverpool's success, regardless if he's scoring or not. He's one player that I'm sure if I was playing in this day and age, you wouldn't want him starting because he's just going to be such a problem for your defenders, no matter who you're coming up against. He's a great footballer and he contributes so much even without scoring. But I do think that Liverpool do need to get a bit more effort from the midfielders in contributing to take the pressure off that front three. You know, for such a good team with the passing and the movement, they need some a lot more contribution from their midfield. 